Um, my, my submission was um, submitted on, on the basis of influence. Uh, so pretty much in summary we run, we run a project in Mozambique that is focused on, on poultry production and we've, through this project we've created a, a diversified line of, of revenue for about 75,000 farmers in, in Mozambique where you know these guys lives are changing on, on a year on year basis because of the project that, that we've put into place. Um, so that's why it's submitted specifically on, on influence because of the numbers of lives that we're changing. The thing that I love most about about being being a finalist is, you know, Psych has really gone out of their way to make us all feel really, really special and, and valued. When I read through my submission last night, it was the first time that I actually felt like, geez, I've actually, I've, I've done something in, in the world and was actually really refreshing. Um, and I think the other candidates would, would pretty much feel, feel the same because, I mean, they're all movers and shakers and, and so through that we all have limited time. So straight after my articles, I, um, I went to uh, do a secondment in, in the US. So I worked in the, training in the training department there at KPMG in New Jersey. And um, after that, I came back and I stayed on at KPMG for about a year or two as a manager. And for all the article clocks out there, I would definitely recommend it. What you would learn, what you would learn as an article clock versus a manager, I think your manager experiences is threefold. You get to see things more holistically, so I definitely say do that for a while, even if you want to go out in, into corporate, because the stuff that you learn is so valuable. And then after that, I joined, I left KPMG and I joined um, the the private equity firm that I'm that I'm at, Matswani Capital, and till today I'm still there. I think the, the CA brand um, is, is quite a strong one. It does have, um, there's elements of, of the brand where, um, you know, it, it's, it's the whole integrity of, of the, the profession. It, it has taken a bit of a beating um, of, of late. Not to say that I feel like the trust is broken. Um, I do think the way Saika has gone about disciplining, you know, the, the, the members who have, have done transgressions and been quite public about, about doing that, I think is instilling, instilling or at least has, an, has resulted in us not losing confidence in, in the brand and I think that that does need to, need to continue. Um, at the end of the day, you know, we're all part of this body and we, uh, it's definitely in our interest to make sure that the body maintains the credibility that it has. Ooh. Okay, I love um, art, um, so I, I paint and I draw. Yeah, I think um, art is definitely my go-to. So it's, you know, when, when you've had a, a really difficult time, you know, pull out an easel or, you know, some, some paper and do pencils and just, you know, use that to, to de-stress. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much, um, yeah, but music is, is probably the bigger one of, of the two. Really, really, really enjoy music and a good glass of wine. <laughs> um, the, the piece of advice that I would always give is that don't limit your, your you know, you equip yourself with skills but don't limit yourself to the academic skills, you know, that you need to pass the exams. I know it's very difficult when you're, at, you're a student because you're studying all day every day and you don't have time for other stuff. But having that passion to learn, you know, you need, you need to do stuff that, or learn stuff that is your passion. So figure out who you are, what it is that you like, what it is that you enjoy, and go learn something. So figure out what is important to you, what do you like, what you don't like, and narrow in on that. Live a life of passion. And the winner today that we have chosen is an unbelievable candidate that exemplifies all of the characteristics that Saika stands for, lead, influence, and develop. And that's not to take away from the other 34 candidates. And this is one of those awards where everyone really, truly is a winner. Um, and everyone has done incredibly well. And I hope that uh, they continue to do this great work. I feel like if you do life or and you do your career correctly, you should always feel like you don't know what it is that, that you're doing. Because once, once you've gotten to the point where you're constantly you know, stable and you're doing the same thing all the time, it's probably time that you, they need to think and be like, okay, I'm, I'm maybe curtailing my growth a little bit. I should, I should be looking for, for something where I feel like I don't know what I'm doing because that's where the personal development and the professional growth comes.